Good morning one and all I am Ashrita from grade 8 Today I am going to read three paras from Elephants raid the kitchen Tuskless Teddy and others begin feeding around the periphery of the camp apparently minding their own business and concentrating on eating grass However Tuskless surreptitiously turns the tip of her trunk towards the kitchen and the tends to smell what and who was there Wafting from the place where the food was kept was the delicious odor of overripe bananas, Tuskless loud bananas. She had first tasted them at the lodge feeding place, where a man came twice a day with a we with a wheel barrow full of vegetable and fruit scraps. They these were usually old peels and old outer leaves of lettuce and cabbages. but one day there was a whole stock of overripe almost fermented bananas tuskless liked the smell immediately plucked one of the stalk popped it in her mouth and savored the sweet taste she managed to eat most of them sharing as few as possible with the others from that day on she particularly sought out bananas On this evening the smell was irresistible she moved closer to the kitchen a flimsy structure made up made out of a few wooden posts sizzle poles chicken wire and roof felt she could smell other good things as well pineapples oranges and various vegetables she also noticed that it was unusually quiet in the camp tonight There was no voices and there was no strong immediate smell of humans. She stopped feeding and rumbled gently. Tani answered from among the palms with her unmistakable long rolling rumble but stayed where she was. Teddy, Tony and Tilly also on- answered and they walked over to join Tuskless. These four animals plus Tuskless two year old calf slowly approached the kitchen with their trunks held out in front of them they got within a few feet and stopped and listened still there were no sounds of people tuskless reached her trunk out and felt the outer wall of the kitchen she wrapped her trunk around a sizzle pole and pulled thank you